So here's some context. Uh, I was, you have a request? Okay, what's your request? How long ago was this? Good question. Uh, this was a couple years ago. Not very long ago. I was already living in LA. So it wasn't too, too long ago. I was working for weed. I was streaming, but not like, but so far back before it even, before it, 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 before it's even considered any, any part of like canonical duty beer history. You know what I mean? So here's what happened. Here's before, before leading up to this, leading up to this, I was, um, my, I worked in the weed industry. I delivered medical weed and my boss was driving to my house to drop off some product for me. And I'm just standing on the sidewalk and we're saying goodbye and he's standing like he's getting in he's parked on my parked on you know normally and he's getting into his door and then i'm just like oh hey blah 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 and we're just talking we're just like talking like real quick like while he's getting into his car like normal human being shit so this guy on his bike just like says like like like, get the fuck off the road, you fucking cocksucker, or something like that. Enough to piss my boss off enough to get in his car and to zoom, and to, to, to zoom away. And that's kind of the last I... That's the last that I saw. So, so what happened was, is they got, oh, they got to Venice and Sentinel... Centin, uh, I think it was Sentinella. That, and he was on... And so he... He apparently, like, turned his bike around, went up to my boss's, like, car, and, like, punched out, punched out the back windshield. Not the, not, the, not the side door, the back windshield. And I don't know really have any of the other details, but I do know that the guy... I did go down there because I had to take the weed out of my boss's car. And that sounds funny, but it was actually, like, a really well-organized Pelican case because we were medical... And we had we had rules that we had to go through in case we got pulled over. Which one time one of our drivers were pulled were pulled over. But you ever see the scene in Lost where John Locke has the guns in his back and and he tells the cop and the cop's like what what the fuck and he goes no it's okay I have this binder and it has all of them. We had binders with all of our inventory and our licenses and our medic everything. It was it was pretty amazing. So anyway, I had to GTA get the bit get the shit out of his car. And sneak around. And then I just like went next to him and I was just like, you know, what's what what is this? And the guy kept following me and harassing me. So I take my phone out, I just start recording him because I watch a lot of YouTube. And then he kept took his phone out and started like fought, like creeping close to me. And I had to be like, Sir, you're getting too close to me, sir, you're getting too close. And I had to kept calling out for the officer. Like the guy was fucking nuts. So I was just trying to just be there and so everyone, you know, so everyone was safe. And, and all that. I wasn't trying to agitate nobody, which I don't even think he got brought up. But. In the conclusion of yesterday's case. I don't know that there was a... Wait, 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 wait. Blame it I didn't bicyclist. realize that there was a part one. He told me that there was a part one. But I, uh, M, M or Oz, is there like more foot... Is there more to this episode or is this all we have so far? So we might have a part two, which is actually the part one. So. Uh, also, I will say this. I will say this. Holy shit. Before we sat down... Before we sat down, we were in the green room, and there was a producer telling us, which, if Judge Judy tells you something, and you think, what's up, AJ, you think something else, then you should definitely interrupt her and speak up against Judge Judy, and trust me, trust me. People have won cases because they've interrupted Judge Judy and they said, no, 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 Judge Judy. No, no, no. This is what happened. Yeah, Irv. <laughs> yeah, Grandpa Irv. Is like, and, 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 and this dude on the right, who was my boss at the time, his sister was a really big producer. And she said, do not go on Judge Judy. I got paid a hundred bucks, okay? The first contact was when he hit my vehicle. The first contact was when you got into your car and chased him. 
Now the judge. And you're chasing him because you want to have a discussion. Is in pursuit let this of the to truth. It. You and I know each other for 10 minutes, and I know that that's not your personality, Mr. Hope. Judge Judy. <laughs> you are about to enter the courtroom. <laughs> the whole judge. time when he, because he starts going off. He starts going off. I'm like sitting there like, uh, just so you know. What's up, Noodle Doodle? This was some serious, you watch cringe compilations, but you've never, you've never dunked your head under a, a big old dunk tank of cringe. Judith right? Scheindlin. What's up, Stalbox? This Box? is Judge How did I find Judy. it? Oz Monday. Oz Monday Previously it. on Judge Judy. I can't believe it. He I think called I owe him your mother, bucks. your sister, your brother, your best friend, and you a low life slimy, sleazy, cursed at you, did anything he want, and then he was on his way. So now you're chasing him. He's in the bike lane. Now you're stopped at a light. And he gets out of the car to have this discussion. <laughs> Whackadoodle. Whackadoodle, I remember that! I remember that! I remember that! Oh, my God. I remember when she said that. I remember when she said that. And I knew it was like, oh boy, this is oh, gonna is. go the other way. What the, uh, happened if there's the another episode of this, what's up, Pink? If there's another episode of this, then it's possible that it might have the part where she shuts me up. So, everybody, cross your fingers. Wear Funny your man. Thanks, freestyle. Wear your, it, wear your underwear inside out tonight. Hope and pray that MJ and Oz find there must be another piece of this. So Sorry. instead of executing a right-hand turn because he's in the right-hand turn ah. lane and a bike lane, he came to rest with his bumper on my tire. And while you were doing that, you knocked his mirror. I don't recall hitting it by time. <laughs> while you were doing that, his face was very while you were doing that, you knocked his mirror. And when he See got out of the I car, look? what happened? I felt this a, a big push on my back, and I then exploded into some car that was the light went green, and I hit the car. <laughs> In a case continued from yesterday, <laughs> all right, we gotta get the Joseph other part. Connelly the other part is suing must, motorist Christopher Hope must for have medical it. bills, must have bicycle it. damage, and an assault. Now, at that point, you're both facing in the same direction because you had been chasing him. He then turned his bicycle around. <laughs> but at that point, you're both facing in the same direction because you had been chasing him. He then turned his bicycle around, which would mean he was going in the opposite direction. That is true. That is true. He, it's easy to fucking pick your bike up and turn around. You say to follow you. That's impossible because if he turned it around, he wasn't. The whole time he you. said so it, one was it? it was totally he out of turned context. around. First of all, my car was not on all, his tire. My car was not on his tire, so I'll, he had a space between, and he did follow Mr. me. Hope, I Mr. returned Hope, this one, yes. Mr. Hope. Yes. I'm reading what you wrote. So either he turned around his bicycle, I yes. he was my and boss. if he turned around he his bicycle, boss. he was going in the opposite direction from you because you were and going in the same. And he was following my physical body as I walked from where we were towards the car. So he was following you on his bicycle, walking on yes. his bicycle like this. <laughs> he turned around his bicycle, he was going in the opposite direction from you because you were and going in the same. And he was following my physical body as I walked from where we were towards the car. Ah, so he was following you on his bicycle, walking on his yes. bicycle like this. Yes. You know, like somebody walks on their and bicycle. And he had his bicycle <laughs> shoes on with the cleats. Just a second, right? Yes. That's a real thing. And aggressively it's, it's hit my passenger mirror. Enemy. Yes. Which collapsed and almost broke off. Yes. He started walking towards the back of my car. <gasps> it hurts yes. so much. So, so glad I got drinking. out of my car. Because I now, feared for property a, damage just a of my vehicle. Just a second. No, I don't believe what you wrote here. Because okay, it's, but it is what happened. it's inconsistent with what you, you see, just said it, to me. That you fucking bitch producer. That producer who I guess did a good job because this is good content. But what a bitch, right? Like, god damn it. <laughs> She's very successful in what she does, bringing better commercials. Was it Dapper Dow? Commercials and, and stuff. But damn, what a bitch. <laughs> she told us to interrupt her every time. She just told us to interrupt her. Back to my car when he hit the mirror of my car. Were you in your car or outside of your car? I was in my car. You're in your car and he hit your mirror. Yes. It collapsed in. Is it one yes. of those mirrors that folds yes. in? Yes. Okay. And hit the window. Just a minute. So I got out of my car and tried to get him away 
from my car. Yes. How did you try to get him away? Because he was close to proximity to my vehicle. So the answer is you put your hands on him. Yes, after, after he made an initial contact of the vehicle. The first contact of any of this encounter was when he hit my vehicle. Mr. Hope, yes. the first contact that was had here between and two this people is nonsense doing anything. She think she's an actor. She, and I could, and I, as I was watching, she was putting this together and you could tell where she was making up her own bullshit. Um, so just, just so you guys know. So this was dismissed over and over again because he sued my boss. This guy sued my boss like three or four times. And shut up, Bree. Like three or four times. And it kept getting dismissed and dismissed and dismissed and dismissed. And the fourth time, the judge was like, you got to stop doing this. Like, so, you know. Other than just being stupid was when you got into your car and chased him. That's is that, the first is that true in the legal? The first problem was you getting into your car angry because otherwise you keep there would be the same something thing. psychiatric. It's like uh, uh, somebody curses, what is it? You curses your mother, outcome? your I don't sister, know. your children, whatever it is, some idiot now who's now a quarter of a mile away by the time you get back in your car, put something. your seatbelt on, start the motor, get out of you your car. You can't sue for the same thing and you're that's chasing him because you want to have a discussion. Now you and I know each other for 10 minutes and I know that that's not he your kept getting personality, called back in. Mr. Hope. I, you did, I dispute you that. Couldn't, you couldn't control yourself with me when I was asking him a question 15 minutes ago when we started this case. You had to interrupt. That was the first time I heard your word. I wasn't asking you a question. You were I'm certainly for not... I'm the truth, and you, were at, you, you... No, no, no. You put the wrong date. Gotcha, bitch. Let's move on. And eventually, you knew you would get a turn, Judge. This didn't happen in June. It happened in July. Do you see how you're arguing with me? That's your temperament. That's what you that's say, Your Honor. What your, that's, that's your opinion, your temperament. Your Honor. That's your that, opinion, yeah, Your Honor. That's, that's not my opinion. That is that my is experience opinion, of so 74 horrible. years. This is, when I'm, this is... I thought this would be, like... I'd never seen this. It's so dreadful, so sexy. I'd never seen this. I did not realize that this was as much of a train wreck as fucking actual day in court. <laughs> I thought they would edit it with like structure. No, <laughs> they, it was too Asking good. You a question. You were I'm certainly for not. I'm looking the truth, and you were at, you you. No, no, no. You put the wrong date. I Let's move on. Yes, thank you. I need you clips. Any clips? Thank this you. This didn't happen in June. It happened in July. Do you see how you're arguing with me? That's your temperament. That's what you say, that's Your Honor. What your, that's, that's your opinion, That's your temperament. Your that's your opinion, that, yeah, Your Honor. That's, that's not my opinion. That is that my is experience opinion, of 74 you years hear them? when a really... man is insulted by somebody giving him the finger hey, or Israel. questioning his driving or questioning his judgment and doesn't blow it off and say, you know what, that guy must be crazy, <laughs> but gets into a 3,000-pound car and chases a bike list for a half a mile, that person lacks judgment. May not be a permanent lapse in judgment, but for that moment, you had a lapse in your judgment. I would agree with that. Laps, I would agree with that. And your lapse in judgment started a chain reaction of things that resulted ultimately in A, the plaintiff being injured, bucks. and B, <laughs> Lamille's car that was parked in the road was stopped being damaged. And you <laughs> felt so responsible for that other car that was damaged that you paid for the damage. To the I didn't car. want there to be any there criminal was... activity because Mr. Uh, Connolly was trying to bring criminal charges against me. me very That's carefully. right. That's right. That's right. He had to pay for it because he was being a total piece of shit about it. That's right. He's he's right. He's right. That he my boss, Chris, he's right in this one. Like, also smashed my me, window. You, the yes. answer I is, made a hundred bucks. I it's right, Mello. paid it's right, for the damage to the other I car. I did. I did. The Ooh, reason you... why? Do you want to know the truth? No, I don't want to know the, the reason. Okay. I wanted where? that you paid for the damage, not the plaintiff. You paid for the damage. I you also should. paid for we'll my broken window way. that Mr. Conley stuck his fist through. <laughs> would, you like to, would you like a picture of that? Nope. <laughs> nope. Not interested. Not interested in <laughs> seeing oh my that God. my fear was... Not interested. Okay. You had no fear of the words. You were insulted by the words. 
You had no fear when you got into your 3,000 pound car and started to chase a 100 pound bicycle and its driver. You had no fear, you had anger. And that's what precipitated this road Great. rage incident. So you pay for the other car, you count the claims dismissed. You pay for your own window, you count the claims dismissed. The only thing <laughs> that I'm going to address... That was a felony that, charge, Your Honor. That was a felony charge that was brought up against him because he smashed my car. I'm just telling you, your count the claims dismissed. There was never a trial, correct? Because... I don't want to know because. I just want to know yes or no. There was never a trial. Are you interested in the truth? I know. Listen to me. I'm interested in whether or not acting. you're responsible for his injury. And I'm telling you that the first case I learned in my torts class... He got paid in tort law, which is what I'm dealing with here, losing. which is civil law, not criminal law. What is the proximate cause and the producers of the told injuries us to that were sustained her. by Mr. Connolly? That's why right, he won't shut up. <laughs> cause of the injuries, in my mind, that was sustained by Mr. Connolly was that you did not get into your car and go home. You got into your car while you were in a rage and you chased down a bicyclist, probably endangering other people on the way because you were so angry. No, and because no. of your anger, I absolutely believe that you were behind making him. Any turns. I absolutely believe that if you were on Venice bicycle Boulevard, with your car. You're fine. I absolutely believe <laughs> all of that. You didn't hurt him. She at knows that where point. he was. But that's how angry you were when unless you you're, got stopped at a red light. Unless you're, so the only I'd like to see your medical records. There were a lot of them. I just summarized. I would just like. Oh, I do. I'm so, everything summarized there. Half hour is gone everything already. Summarized. The proximal. Okay. Part this this lady, re real quick, this lady, she is an actor, but she she's not acting here. She was she actually was a a witness at the what's up, Lexi? How's it going, girl? Miss you. She was a at the Starbucks as a witness, and Judge Judy, I think, I swear to God, this woman must have moved away from the LA. Car. I absolutely believe all of this, that. You, you didn't hurt him. Judge at Judy that point. just. But that's how angry you were when you got stopped at a red light. So, the question Mega is Man's how much? Where now, am I? I'm on I'd the like side. To see your I'm next to this records. lady. There were a lot of them. I just summarized. I would just like. Oh, this is what I had a little bit more hair. There. Half hour is gone already. Half hour is gone already. Everything's, everything's there. If everything's you don't the, get the it, I don't care. All the bills are there. You understand? If you don't get it, I don't care. Because she kept. Okay, she kept. She was so pissed off. She, the lady next to me, the other witness, she was so angry. She was just like starting to like, because the producer told us to interrupt Judge Judy. So she was like, well, do, do I say, she was talking to me like, do I say something? I'm just like, my response was the whole time, just like thinking back, I really wanted to be like, bitch, like, you know, I wanted to be silly because it's a show. What's the worst they could do is throw me off. I don't get my hundred bucks. Big fucking deal, you know, but I needed the hundred bucks. I wasn't thinking about it then. And duty over there stared at the door, afraid to make eye contact. I was making eye contact. I, I'm a star, dude. I love, I love, I love. So she was in, they came together. I love David Wayne. I'm like, it's a weird connection. But I love David Wayne movies, and she's in They Came Together, so I just wanted to be like, I hope we meet. I just want to be like, mm. how did you get involved with They Came Together? I love that movie. You were so good in it. And I wanted her to be like, oh, thanks, duty beard. You're such a handsome guy. Here's my number. Let's, let's date. Let's go on a date. Ultimate cause of this That's what whole I wanted. incident I didn't was get because it. the <laughs> defendant got into his car and chased Should the plaintiff a of on, his, I should. on the... Don't speak. There was no... That contact, was it. That's what I got, but they cut mine. angry words. The defendant Woo! got into his car and in a rage, clearly, because he chased him. He says a mile and a half. Maybe it was a quarter <clears> of a mile. Maybe it was a block. All right, you're dying. You're I dying. am dying. You're, you're just <laughs> okay, second. you're on. Just a second. Look, okay. ugly up here. Shit. Up here. Up here, you were in the car. No. Look up. Where were you? I was at Starbucks. <laughs> you were in Starbucks. Yes. Therefore, I was... you did not see what happened at the other end where this whole process was initiated. Correct. Correct? Yes. Okay. So you were in Starbucks having a cup of coffee. Outside. 
hope outside. They don't have my you name. don't know the defendant. I do not. I hope I've they never don't show seen who him I before am. that July 4th. Not that Correct. I care for Correct. you guys. I Let just me hope hear. they don't. Okay. <laughs> I heard an <laughs> angry screaming. person screaming profanities, riding up Venice. He He's is screaming. horrible. Just a second. This, just a second. What do you mean, no? That's what this whole thing started with. He's screaming. Riding up the street. You see, okay, I scream in Among Us, you assholes, when I know you're lying. You're wrong. Correct. On his bike. Shano. So he's riding and screaming. Yes. What's the next thing that you saw? He stopped at the red light and he kept riding around in a circle, screaming like a lunatic. No, just, just, he's, just a second. Okay, so his bicycle was at a red he light was coming and he's riding. He kept riding around going, that I'm going to kill him, that. I'm gonna kill his mother, screaming. Keep going. Screaming Keep like going. that. Keep going. Keep listen to me. Keep going. And he wouldn't stop. He so, just kept screaming. I'm gonna beat that up. I'm gonna slug him. I'm gonna. Suck. I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something. Okay. I don't believe you. No, he was no, doing that. No, listen to me. Listen to me very carefully. Listen to he, me, actress. I don't <laughs> believe you. Why? I want you. I don't. Believe you. I don't know Miss Morton at listen all. Listen to me. We I don't. don't. We okay. don't know her at all. It was only like, here's my number in case you need anything. I saw it. It's okay. That was it. That was the extent of their thing. Give you. I want like, you to, without the dramatics. Okay. I want you to tell me what you saw when you were sitting outside, allegedly in Starbucks, having your coffee. You saw the Not plaintiff inside. on a bike outside. screaming. It's Venice! In front of him. The only people who sit inside are people doing music and on fucking computers! Not to anyone, Correct. but to screaming. Yeah. And then what did you see? He stopped at the red light and then he continued riding around and, in a circle. And he's screaming. Was, just rode around in a circle yes. screaming and then. And then. You, you just know, tell me what you saw. Is, is, Starbucks is in a layer of libraries. The library. Man. You don't talk inside of a fucking Starbucks. What are you, stupid? Oh, look at me. What did you see? Now he's riding this around was a couple in a circle. Years ago. What did you just see? Not too long ago. Doing it for what a while, did... and then I saw Mr. Hope's car pull up. He was not racing. Don't, don't, don't tell me what he was not. You okay. saw Mr. Hope's car pull up, and yeah, it took a pull little up. while though. And he was not driving. Don't... Okay, he was. Sit down. Okay, I apologize. I, I, if, if you're not going to okay. answer my question, okay, do you understand? Yes, because I, I don't oh, believe this hurts. Story this hurts. <laughs> <'Cause> you're <laughs> this editorializing hurts so much. like somebody who has an agenda, who's not a witness. I've been questioning witnesses for okay. 50 years. Do you understand? I do. Good. <laughs> Judge Judy continues in a moment. That's a copy of the original Shh. police report. Okay, so either you're lying or you lied to the police, or police officer Ortiz got it wrong, Mr. Hope. Go now. You can sit down. Oh, also, I got a couple granola bars in the green room, so. <laughs> I think I made out that day. Okay. Real cases, real people. Who's the defendant? Judge Judy. Uh, Joseph uh, Calvary says, motorist I'm, Christopher my old boss. damaged his bike and assaulted him during an incident of road rage. Christopher is countersuing for vandalism to his car shirt? and another driver's vehicle. So when I have a witness who is not in some way involved in the situation, they tell me, what is I was sitting at Starbucks, I saw a guy cursing. Contact? He was riding around in circles and cursing. I saw another guy pull up. They don't editorialize it. Not <laughs> driving fast. I gotta he sit up. Oh my God. Changed. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah. Fine. That I reflects do. so that's much what, off of me right now. That's why I it's question hard. your veracity. Okay, I understand yeah, that. Good, I'm glad. Go. So I saw, you saw another car ah, pull up next to the guys, bicyclist who's up, riding around fun. in circles and, and cursing. The bicyclist faced his bike towards <laughs> the car and he was taunting him, screaming taunting. at him. Taunting. Taunting is a word that's designed to provide me with a picture of one person. Not he said to him, oh. not I heard him say. What you are saying is you are trying to act as a jury or as a fact finder when you say he was taunting him what did he say he was screaming he at just, him no, just, saying i just i have so i'm on so i knew i was on camera i thought it was on i don't know 
I, I guess I don't know that I'm... You guys all, you guys know Shawshifter has to come up here and remind me to sit up, you know? That's why we have posture check on our fucking streams. No one tells you. No one tells you. Plus, we were the bad guys. So they probably said, like, man, that guy looks like a real... That guy looks like a bad guy. So let's... We're gonna keep watching this. That guy looks like a bad guy. So keep that shot. It's a good shot. He looks like a real bad guy. He looks like straight up Bluto sitting like that. So, yeah. I was hoping there was more food involved because there's usually more food at TV shows, but... I'm gonna kill you. Get out of your car. He was screaming at him like that for she a She was really uncomfortable what, person. To me, she was very a while. I remember and... she, when she, she was, it took her long, this was a lot, this is edited a lot. She, she was having a hard time cursing and stuff. And by this point, it escalated and people were starting. I was trying to get my phone so that I could call 911. I thought there would be, I thought I it would escalate. what you thought. But they, did, you, oh, did they tell, what's a funky Tron? Did they tell you like what to do, what to say? Because they didn't tell us what to say. They only told us to interrupt Judge Judy. How was Judge Judy like? Oh boy, Funky Tron. Uh, we only saw her because we lost. I don't think we got to like meet her or have good food or fun snacks. I don't know. There's probably good snacks if we won, but none, nothing. So we just left right away. Uh, horrible. She's horrible. A lot of this stuff is like kind of like make believe. Like she is making up her own plot. She's not looking at the facts. And also, again. For those who who are just coming in, the producers told us to argue with Judge Judy. Okay. And by the way, I is got a couple girls. Police bars. report. I, I believe so. Yeah. And I'd, they like to see, me. I'd like they to see me. the police report. I'd yeah. like they to see. They called me. Yeah. She was a witness with no. Detective Hall. No, just a minute. I want to see if in the police report, That's when the, the police responded, police was she there or was her? Name provided later. Is that you? Is my question. Judge? That's a copy of the original Shh. police report. This is the last season okay. that they were taking. So either or you're lying or you lied know. to the police, or police officer Ortiz got a bully who advised he was riding his bike eastbound when Hope's vehicle was stopped on the side of the road. Hope attempted to exit his car when the driver's side opened. Connolly continued and tried to open his door, not get back in the car. He pulled his vehicle very close to Connolly's rear tire. Witness two is an off-duty Los Angeles police officer. He was, was at a Starbucks nice guy. on the south. The cop was great, and the cop knew that this guy was fucking crazy also. So, Okay, so well, either then... you're lying or you lied to the police, or police officer Ortiz got it wrong, Mr. Hope. Police officer Ortiz spoke to Connolly, who advised he was riding his bike eastbound when Hope's <sighs> vehicle was stopped on the side of the road. Hope attempted to exit his car when the driver's side opened. Clip it. Connolly continued to and tried to open his door, not I'm get back in the car. Hold he on, pulled his vehicle very close to Connolly's rear tire. Witness two is an off duty Los Angeles police officer. He was at Starbucks on the <laughs> southwest corner of Venice and Cotillia. He said he observed Connolly on his bicycle waiting at the light when Hope drove his vehicle with its uh, front bumper almost touching the rear tire of Connolly's bicycle. Now you can sit down! Okay. <laughs> Judge Judy continues in a moment. Connolly I didn't began have screaming man. obscenities. Hope exited his vehicle and pushed Connolly into the car next to him, causing him to fall off of his bicycle. You don't know this officer, Alexander, do you? I do know him only as uh, I work in gangs. So, so you know him. Real cases. Real the guy people. was Judge such Judy. a lunatic. Joseph Connolly has accused motorist Christopher Hope of purposely damaging his bike. Okay, and assaulting him after an argument on the road. Christopher is counter for I car like Judge damages. Judy. That's the problem. He's fucking Only began screaming obscenities to Hope. That's after an off-duty police sergeant, who was, in fact, sitting at Starbucks, saw Mr. Hope with his car... Where's he today? ...almost touching the rear tire of Connolly's bike. He said Connolly began screaming obscenities. Hope exited his vehicle and pushed Connolly into the car next to him, causing him to fall off Worse, of his bicycle. Trust me. That's what Pause the off-duty police officer... Who, you don't know this officer, Alexander, do you? Shield number... You don't know him, do you? I do know him only as uh, I work in gangs for 25 years. Because he does this all the time. Because he tries to get into scuffles and he sues people. 
What's up, Quentin? There's in the Wilshire Division. He was the original commanding officer. So, just a second. So but you know him? He was off duty, and I just, I didn't even know he was there. I mean, I was riding, and he was there with his wife and two daughters. So it was. The cop who approached us was in uniform. Or the cop that when I got there, there was a cop in uniform. Just a huge coincidence. Uh, he can't lie, so Shh. he, that's what he told the police. Just a second. So you knew him? I've known him for 30 years. Open witness agreed to have witness's vehicle fixed at a later time. The witness did not want to press charges. The witness was the owner of the car that was damaged. Is that right? Yes. Now I'll see the medical reports. I gave it to her. There was a lot of yeah. legislation to that. This happened on Ju July 4th. July 4th. I would like to see the first date that any police officer was given the name of this witness. I wonder if I streamed that. The like... date, Mr. Hope. I don't, the date. I don't have that. The date. I don't have that. Mm -hmm. What kind of insurance do you have, sir? You meaning health benefits? Mm -hmm. Through my wife's insurance company. Okay, so you had no out of pocket expenses for. I've had uh, almost $8,500 of total bills to date out of what I've had to pay. And I'm continuing to pay the way Was I your arm in a cast? They couldn't. I, I have pictures they can't cast it. They just have to reattach. They stapled the tendons to the bone and then you just put it in a sling for two months. So you had a surgical procedure? Right, because the tendons were ruptured just said, and they, they, just had surgery. Yeah, the they had to fix it. The answer is you had a surgical procedure. Yes, on July 27th was when the specialist was available. Okay. Judge Judy continues in a moment. You the victim of an assault? Go to JudgeJudy.com, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. Well, it says here that there was trauma. And no fracture. Yeah, there was no fracture. It was all the tendons were ruptured off the bone so that you can't see, see that in an x-ray. So I had to do an MRI. I did the He's, MRI on July really 10th. He was really bad. It should all be in that tear sign. I paperwork. Mm-hmm. He That's was it. really bad. This is a report dated on the 10th. Left elbow pain after an injury. And what the MRI showed was clearly a near complete rupture of the later, tendons in sucks. the elbow. Judgment for the plaintiff, the amount of $5,000. We're done. Please excuse me, step out. That's it. Judge Judy continues. See, in a my moment. big bald head? It's much worse. And on now. the next Judge Judy. Did you want to say that? Look at me. Hold on. Hold on. And on the next Judge Judy. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Did you have a discussion with Mr. Rivera? He said, please don't get my car. And he took the door and said, I know. So I didn't do shit. Is this on? Down. I was screaming. This is on nothing. I, I, someone in the community actually, uh, you know, I, I, can I say that word? They, 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 they had to find it, dude. They had to actually find it. And they had, they, like, it's not, you can't find, like, Judge Judy episodes. There's this one... There's this one streaming service that does Judge Judy episodes, but I lack its I lack its credibility, so I, I never tried it out. But Oz found it, and I think there's a part one. I will say this: if there is a part one, that if, if there it, they have to have edited in when she shut me up. Your pen, and he said to me, "Use your own pen." I would say, "Thanks." <laughs> <laughs> there's a difference. Do you understand? I understand. All right. If I, I didn't. I didn't ask your question. Mm -hmm. Pardon me. And then you kept. <laughs> <laughs>